so I am going to be doing my first review of the Scrawler box, and this is for the October 2023 box. Now, <clears throat> just go ahead and let you guys know I have opened this box. As you can tell, it has been opened because I cannot help myself, like I've always said, on opening boxes. Like, I have to open boxes. I can't just leave them unopened. Now this is kind of coming in a little bit later, but it's on this box. I wanted to try something different. So I'm only going to give my review based off of this box alone um, on what the, what's inside um, and how I feel about it. I know prices are always different. I don't know if you can get coupons and all this kind of stuff. This is coming from just a person who just looks to see about getting a box ordering it online. So the only thing I can tell you basically is that I got this box, I ordered it from Scrawler Box, and it was actually compared to like my powerful pack boxes, you know, and some of these other boxes that's out there. Um, this one here comes from, I'm from the United States, so it actually comes from the UK. Uh, and all in all, I think, and now prices can vary for everybody. So don't take this as being a set price, you know, for somebody else. I don't know if it will be a little bit different or not based on shipping or whatnot, but I do believe it was like $28 for this box. So it's really kind of a cheaper box compared to some of the other ones that I've gotten. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what they gave us. Of course, of course, it's going to be opened because I've already done it. Can't help it. So inside the box, um, they have it wrapped up in paper some of the contents. So I'm gonna kind of shift that to the side. I will open that in just a second. <clears throat> they go, give you a um, scrawler line, or um, scrawler line, scrawler zine, I guess. It's zero, number 097, I don't know. It's like a little booklet. And inside it goes over some of the pencils and the stickers and scrawler contents, you know, that's in here. Um, here's the Scrawler Artist Chosen for the month. So it talks a little bit about her and about her artwork that she does. It gives you Scrawler tips for some of the things that you can do, um, things to try. It says layer on thick, scribble, scribble, clean lines, um, stippling. So different, different techniques, even the little splatter stuff or little drips. So they kind of shows you different things inside this book. So it is a pretty decent sized book. So looks like they even have a gallery here. Um, some different artists that have submitted. It says here, Scrawler Challenge. Want to be featured in the Scrawler design? Share your artwork with us and rest of our Scrawler community using the hashtag um, Scrawler Challenge, pound hashtag Scrawler Challenge. So they got a lot of um, different pictures in here of artists, different artists. Then of course it's got some of these other things in here. So a really nice book. I mean, this actually comes with a full blown book and I've never had that in any of the other ones so far, just a full fledged book. Um, here is, of course you're not gonna get like a full, I mean, it gives you a full pad of paper, which is good. Um, the size of it, let's see here. It says 10 sheets, 20 or 250 GSM Bristol board. It's an A5 and it looks like it's a scrawler box brand. So it's not like getting a brand, you know, thing. I don't know if it's acid free. I don't know. Um, so I'm not for sure. Oh wait, it is. Okay. It says it right there. Duh, I'm blind. Okay. So it is acid free. Um, so Probably a good way to try it out is by using the product, seeing if you like it or not. Um, but it is the A5 Bristol board, really smooth, good for markers. And then they give you like a little print here of um, something that the artist has done, the featured artist for the month has done um, using, I guess, the products that they're gonna give us. And it says here, talks about the featured artist. So it talks all about her, gives you the website, Instagram, so that way you can follow her and do all that fun stuff. Um, this is here, chromatic space junk. I guess it is junk. I don't know, it has a star on it. It's 
probably junk. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't really like that. Why junk? It's not junk. It's beautiful. It's a bird. So, um, yeah, it's something I guess you can even try doing yourself, too, if you want to. Try doing something similar. So we have that. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to go ahead and move this out. Oh, wait. Inside here, looks like they have here trees.org for the future. For every box sold, um, it says we will plant one tree in association with trees for the future. <clears throat> Pound Scrawler Box Challenge. Create something with only the items inside this box. Share your creations with us. And then share your unboxing with us at um, hashtag Scrawler Box. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's got some different things in there. It's really nice that they actually donate... Um, for every box sold, they will plant one tree in association with trees for the future. So that is really, really cool. So nice. So let's go ahead and open this up to see the goodies that we got. <clears throat> so inside um, looks like we got a piece of fruit candy. It says fruit salad. So, I mean, I'm from the U.S., so I'm not for sure. Um, it's kind of neat to try out some different candies from different places. So... Very interesting. I know my daughter was wanting to go after that. And I said, hold off. I need to do my review. Um, then we have here the sticker that matches the featured artist on here. Except it's kind of swooshed. It's really neat. And it actually is a really nice sticker. It actually feels just like the stickers you get in the Palafull pack boxes. So it's, it's really, really nice. This is like more vinyl kind of feeling. And yeah. So that is super, super nice. Nice sticker. My daughter will love it. Okay, so here is, they gave us two pins here. This is the Derwent Sketching 2B pencil. So they gave us that one. Love Derwent, good brand. And then we got Unipin, also a nice one. Uh, fine line, water and fade proof pigment ink. So really nice, this is 0 0.9, so it is a thicker um, point on that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see if I can't. I know it's kind of dark in here. Well, let's go over toward the camera. But yeah, it's a little bit thicker of a point. So that's nice. And then we got these, and I've never tried these. So I don't know how they act. I don't know how um, they work. But it is definitely something interesting to, for me to try out is a full set of 12 of the acrylic markers. Um, they're made by Frisk. I wonder if it's like, how do I Frisk it? I don't know. But it's made by Frisk, acrylic marker, water-based, highly pigmented, vibrant, ideal for many surfaces, including paper, canvas, fa fabric, and more. So they're gonna give us yellow, blue, that looks like purple. So I'll probably definitely wanna do a swash on these just to kind of see the colors that they give us. Um, but yellow, blue, gold, orange, green, silver, pink, brown, red, black, purple, and white. So it looks kind of like those uni pins, kind of how you shake it and kind of push down to get the um, fluid uh, going before you start. So let's go ahead and open these up. I know I didn't open these up. I just kind of took a peek at everything that was in it because I couldn't help myself. I know some people were just like, what? How did you already know some of this stuff? Well... There we go, spoiler alert, can't help it. Box arrives, I open. It's like Christmas presents. You gotta watch out for Christmas presents because I'm tearing a hole in the side to try and peek in it. I can't help it. So watch for the Christmas presents. <laughs> Especially if they're for me. You better just hide them. So here are the um, the paint pens. I guess they're like paint pens, aren't they? Water, well, I mean, they're acrylic markers. Hmm. So very, I think they're almost like pink pins. Acrylic marker. So yeah, it's just like the, uh, those, um, uni pins. I think it's called, or Posca. I don't know why I say uni pins. Um, the Posca markers. Like you've got the push. Yeah. Except the Posca markers feels just a little bit more, I don't know, thicker, a little bit more heavier. These are a lot more, a little bit more lighter, but the inside, you can definitely tell it has something in there. So, 
I definitely want to, you know what, let's go ahead and do a swash with these to kind of see what they are like, because I'm, I'm very interested in these. I love getting new stuff, and for the price that I paid for this little box, it's really not that bad. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. I mean, you get a full pad of paper, which is the Bristol, it's still Bristol, actually it's Bristol, it's not just by Scrawler Box. Well, no, I mean, maybe it's not by Bristol Board, Bristol Board. I don't know. I'm confusing myself and I need to stop. Probably confusing all you guys too. It's been one of those weeks, I can tell you that. So let's go ahead and shove this over to the side. I'm gonna take some of this tissue and candy and put it to the side. I don't really need the tissue. We'll just throw that away. I got trash can right there. So let's go ahead and try this out. Can you guys see okay? Yeah. Okay. So we were already shaking up this one here. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh my goodness. I got my Halloween nails going on, if you guys can see. Okay, shake, shake, shake. Mm, what color? Now, I do notice, too, while doing this, I do not see. Where is that? I don't know what that is. Huh, something's stuck on there. Maybe it used to have a piece of paper at the bottom. No. Okay. Well, it doesn't have nothing that tells you the color on the actual marker so um that's kind of a bummer okay i am gonna make a mess let me get out a sheet of paper where i can get the flow going on this so i can reach over here and grab a sheet i put a bunch of stuff on top of it okay there we go it's a bigger sheet of paper but still it'll work I might make a mess. So I'm just going to push down on it like this until it comes out and then it should be good to go. So whatever color this is that I have no clue um, which one it is. Ooh, that paper. It feels like it's already starting to, yeah, it's already starting to peel up. Okay. Not liking that. I can already tell you right now, that's probably not gonna work. Let me see if I can do it on here. Yeah, this is a little bit better. Okay, so I do have to make my first comment on my review for this new paper here, the A5. Um, I just barely started to go over it, just to kind of do a swash and the paper started rolling on me. So is, if you guys can see that, I don't, let me see if I can put that, see that there, that chunkiness, that's just paper, that's paper starting to tear up. So I do not like that. That's one thing that really turns me off is if I'm trying to do like some rubbing in just a little bit, I wasn't rubbing too, too hard, but it just really gets soggy and then you can't do multiple layers, it instantly starts rolling up. This paper here is actually for marker paper also, it's the B marker paper. It was actually holding up 10 times better than the A5, and it is a much thinner sheet of paper on this B marker paper. So, I don't know. This one here is thicker, but rolls up. This one here, I could do more of a swash without it rolling up, even though it gets a little bit wet. It's what's able to withstand a little bit more than this A5. So, not for sure I'm liking that for these markers. This here, I don't know what color it is. It's probably orange. No, it's not orange. It looks peach. It looks like a peach. And I'm guessing since that one might be an orange, this is a red. But it looks peach to me. So either I'm colorblind. The lids look red. But it just comes out, as you can tell. I don't know if you guys can see. No, probably not. I don't know if you guys can see that that well. But it's just like, it looks more peachy than red. Anywho, let's go ahead and go on to the pink. At least this one here is obvious as pink. Make sure that I'm on the screen. So I like to sometimes take my work off screen. Okay, let's go ahead and push back and forth. Just trying to get this ink or acrylic to come out. 
usually not really the gentlest one either. Okay, there's pink. Let's do orange. And the pink definitely looks pink. The red, don't, I don't know. The red for some reason just looks, maybe it's my lighting. Maybe I need to put on some of my spotlights in here on. Let's get this orange going. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for some of it to come out. It's okay. So there's my orange. Let's do yellow, and orange does look like orange, so that's really nice. Let's do yellow. Okay. Very nice. This one here, I'm thinking this, this one looks blue. I'm guessing this is the purple. Let's see if it looks like purple or if it looks like blue. Okay. Now it definitely comes out in really nice purple. All right, that looks good. Blue. And then they even got the white, which I probably don't really need to try that one out because it's probably not going to show up unless I go over the top of one of these. Let me get the ink of flowing on that one. Or not ink, but our acrylic. That is a really pretty blue. Let's see how this um, silver turns out. I don't know if it's gonna be more of a metallic-y kind of silver or if it's gonna end up being like silver, like gray. It's slowly coming down. All right, there we go. Okay, it's definitely metallic, a metallic nice um, silver color. Looks like it wasn't really pulling that good. So, yeah, it was. It's very shiny. Nice. I'm going to skip over the white and we're going to go to the green. Well, the green's kind of going a little quicker. Looks like it's flowing pretty good. And there's your green, which looks more like, I don't know, looks more teal to me. Um, let's look at gold. And I'm just telling these based off of the caps or the lids because um, there's no writing on them to tell you. Let's see here, come on gold. Very pretty, very metallic. And then we've got brown. And whenever they dry, it seems like once they dry, they dry a matte, like more of a matte kind of color. So there's no shine to them, except for so far the metallics got a shine to it. And this there is a brown. Okay, and then we've got black. 
And I'm glad that in their set they included the black and the white. That right there, I do like that. So this is a really nice uh, color choice palette that they're actually giving you. So that's nice. So in all reality of this, I mean, uh, as far as what you get for the price that you're paying, um, it's not bad at all. I mean, you're getting um, these paint markers that are very similar to the Posca pens. So, I mean, if you're wanting something like this, I don't know how much these actually retail for or anything like that because they didn't actually give me a booklet. I don't think in this book... It probably tells about these markers. Let me see if they actually, because it does tell you a little bit about the product, but I don't think they give you like retail or anything like that. I mean, the price is definitely going to be different um, depending on where you're located, whether or not you're in the UK or the US. I'm in the US, so things may be different over here than over there. Um, doesn't really give you, it doesn't give you any prices on anything on what the retail value would be of these products. So, I mean, I can't, unless I look them up online, but other than that, it is, um, by trying these out, it is very similar to the Posca pins. So, um, I'm thinking that's what they're trying to basically do is something like the Posca pins, but Possibly, I would say these would be um, probably a little bit more cheaper than the Posca pens, or at least lower price. Um, they are lighter, but they are nice. They do work. So, and they give you a whole bunch of the colors too. So, that's super nice. The paper, on the other hand, yeah, it's already, it's like hard, can like, yeah, see the paper, paper's coming off on this. So this didn't work out very well. I can do another swash just to kind of see. And then I go over it again. Yeah, it starts peeling. So there it is, see? And if I did it over here on this paper, which is the B paper, I can go over that. And then I can go over it. And I'm not really having, I still got paper from that thing on there. There. It takes a little bit more for it to actually start peeling. My pen's like drying out here. I'm going to push it down, make it come out some more, but yeah. This one here, the B paper, takes a lot more. Um, basically, if you can go over it a little bit more than you can with this. This here, it doesn't take very much and your paper starts peeling. So there is that i mean it's i mean i don't know how it would be if you did instead of using these posca acrylic um paints because it is a lot more fluid like maybe if you use this paper just for like doing ink this might actually work better so let me see here i'm going to do this so we got one layer right now i'm going to go over it again doing better but it still has that issue if you go over it too many times it starts actually the paper starts tearing one time is fine then it starts peeling and it's not peeling on mine starts peeling, got paper, ooh, did I make that dry out, did I use up all the ink, <laughs> yeah, so, this doesn't take as much, there's the pencil, Well, it does good with pencil. I can go over that lots of times with pencil. 
So it doesn't like to take the liquid. Like anything liquidy, it does not like to take. And that's a nice pencil too. It's very, very smooth. And yeah, it's a nice pencil. I like it. I like Derwent though. Derwent makes some nice pencils. So yeah, all in all, I can say about this box, the Scrawler box is for the price that I paid. Not too bad at all because I got some, um, I don't want to say Posca markers, but I got some Frisk markers that are very similar. And now I can add these to my um, Posca pins, so that way I can have some more colors that maybe I wouldn't have before if I wanted to use them on other things too. Um, not just paper, but if I wanted to use them on material or something else, I probably could. Um, so that's kind of nice. I'm definitely going to be keeping the pencil um, in my pencils and the pen because it is a water and fade proof pigment ink. And these are super nice to have. And now I got a 0 0.9. The paper on the other hand, I'm not quite for sure what I'm actually going to be using it for because it does roll with the markers and it rolls with the pens. So the only thing that really works really well is using it for like, I mean, it worked good with my graphite pencil. So unless I use it for like scratch paper, like just using it just to kind of test something on that I'm not really worried about that I might use it for that. But other than that, um, yeah, I don't really know much of what I'm going to do with the paper as far as it not handling ink or acrylic on it very well. My opinion though, maybe somebody else, it might be their favorite paper. Um, for me, it just doesn't work for me. Um, all in all, I do like this box and I am actually got another one ordered for um, October, uh, November. So I will be getting a November scrawler box and that way I can see what they're going to give me on the next box. Uh, it was a very, very reasonable price box for what I got and I am really super happy about it. So I'm kind of interested in what their next uh, box is going to be considering that the price is really it's it's there it, it seems really nice so definitely all in all i give scrawler box a thumbs up seems like a really nice box and yeah i guess until next time um uh i'm not gonna have a live stream today i guess it would be tuesday so yeah no live stream on tuesday got some things going on that uh i will have to take care of uh family wise so i will end up doing either I'm not for sure if I'll do a live stream or a little skunk or if we're going to end up doing it, um, maybe making a separate video. Not quite for sure there, but I will let you keep you guys informed on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye you guys.